Hello, this is the legend of Green Rock 2. We are on the Turtle Beach. This is the this is part of the um, beleaguered castle. This is a custom dungeon of the legend of Green Rock 2. I'm surrounded by mad turtles. Intent on duffing me up by the look of it. side of the trees is another beach and that beach is called Mosquito Beach. Um, they've all got footwear by the look of it but we'll pick up the sandals in case, oh look there's a trap door on the other side of there. And we've got a lovely view of the beach. It's absolutely Marvellous! Look at that. Hmm. The sun has just come up and we're in the sea up to our knees. A glorious scene. I knew it. Ooh. What's this ring do? Bronze brace. Was this shock? That a do. few of them. I do like going into the water. Right, what do we do now? Well, we have a look to see what keys we got. ladder. So we go with the ladder way. Oh that's right, yeah. Um, so here's a uh, portcullis. To open it, place the key in. And go up the stairs. You end up in this crazy place. got over here. That is, by the way, a skeleton commander. And he doesn't take no for an answer. But this is an ornate lock, and you can put an ornate key in there if you want to. Unfortunately, we haven't got one. Ooh, iron key. This iron key uh, comes in very handy in the castle sewers. Uh, there's quite a few bonus objects here. This is uh, basically known as the swamps.
it keeps on summoning all these different creatures. It's quite predictable. Um, oh, there's some more stuff in here, look. Pick up some, oh, crikey, look at that. Another, loads of stuff to be had. Pointy shoes, in fact. I don't think we've got room. Nobody's got room to pick anything more up. I think that's it. Uh, right. Hello! What's for dinner today? Absolutely ridiculous. Um, so what did we? Oh, we got an iron key out of that. Very important. But before we do the iron key, we actually didn't pull the other lever. There's another lever which we didn't actually pull. Um, so where do we go for that? Uh, let's have a little think about it. to go back to the dungeons, really. Tell me what to do! Oh yes. This is a good opportunity. To offload a whole load of stuff we really don't need. She's full to the top. Basically, she's got a sack and not actually using. That's better. That's freed up a whole load of that he can't use that at the moment. He hasn't got. He hasn't got skills to do it. We'll put the box of icons on there. That should go on to there. Um, close that for the time being. Um, he can't use that as yet. He's not qualified for it. Never going to use that again. That's too basic. This is too basic as well. That's a sheer waste of pellets, that is. This thing is great, but he's not qualified for it yet. These boots are brilliant. See if... Oh, yeah, look. See? That's definitely good news. Oh, this is like a minus 15 on health. So we don't need to have that. I think there's another shield somewhere. Um, yeah, there it is. He can have that. That protects him a bit. So that's a great sort out. Um, it's just a question of where we go. Is it the gold thing? I'm actually, sure, I think it is. Yeah, that was a good guess. Right, it turned out to be the right place. Good. Okay. So basically, oh no, that's wrong. Um, there's a trapdoor here. When you look down it, there's loads of water in there. If you still jump down there, you end up going down to the basic dungeon. We don't want the basic dungeon. We want the intermediate dungeon. Um, we can use the rope to go down the intermediate dungeon and end up on this kind of ramp. So what this gives you, that the basic dungeon doesn't, is these levers. Uh, we pulled this lever the last time, that gave us the herders down there. Um, but the soldiers are still locked. If you look at this gate here, that's still locked. Um, and what you get out of that is another bow. 
Um, well, actually, we haven't got a bow at all at the moment, but you can get two bows. Um, you get one bow, plus you get the choice of a fantastic sword, or you can have a spare bow. I think it's a good idea to have two bows, because I've played before and lost, actually lost one of the bows. It sounds crazy, but it actually happened to me. I can find the bloody thing out somewhere. And, uh... Hmm. So I think it's great to have a second bow. Because it gets so used to the Ratmaster firing the arrows, he loses the bow. We end up in a bit of a tiz was. She does. She'll have some proper armour. Definitely. Oh, these people are such a big pain. I'm teaching for farts in each church! <coughs> Mates have come from the other side. Right, bombs. Oh, that's a bit naughty. I'm so tired of these archers. You could do it without the bombs, but the bombs are so good. Oh no, that was a waste. Right, um, oh, stairs. Wow, we are in the night forest. Hmm. Well, talking of which. Have a bit of a mixing session when we're in the safety of the night forest. Flipping egg. Oh, ho, ho. Nice sound effects. That's it. Nice one, Ratmaster. Sorted. Oh, he's got his throwing axe as well, don't forget that. Right, uh, there's no way out of this place at the moment. If you look on the map, it doesn't really help. So we just got there as a little safe place to do some mixing. Uh, oh, wait a minute, what's down here? Oh, there's another armour plated thingy bob. That means that our friend the wizard can go onto that. Um, that's a nice one. Oh, our armor plated uh, knee pads as well. Oh, he's already got them. So, oh, we don't need them really. Just take them as spare items.
Right, so we are back on the top ledge of the castle. But we haven't found the stuff we're looking for, which is a couple of bows. Ah, oh, wait a minute. What's down here? No, we just came from there. Uh, this is the way, I think. Ooh, it's not. Not the way. the place we're talking about look so you've got a choice of a bow this is a long sword and this is a flame sword so what do you <laughs> oh my god Flippy charming isn't it come on doggy doggy oh come on doggy doggy be nice all right don't be nice um so just around the corner is the entrance to the tomb. I'm pretty sure. Just round the corner here. Yeah, So she is going up on I think she can go up on light armor, I think. Never know, dear. Um, or oh, we can do fireballs now. That is pretty neat. That is pretty neat. You can do fireballs now. Superb. He's gonna need all the food he can get. There is the entrance to the tomb. You need a tomb key and you need a gold key. Um, we haven't got either of them. Tomb key and a gold key you need. And we haven't got either one. And this won't work either. We got we do like the old icons. We do like the old icons. So we are gonna go and get we're gonna we can choose. As soon as you choose one, you go down the shaft. So we got we got a spare bow. Don't spend too long in this place. Cause um, well, there's a nice wand there. Just try and get around as quick as you can. It's a fantastic sword there for our young lady. Definitely the Billy business there. Right, basically get out of this place as quickly as possible. He's got the undead. They do not play around.
hell? Oh my god! Let's hope we never have to go to that place again. Talk about chronic. Wow! That place is a nightmare. <sighs> anyway, um, tell you what, we got a really nice wand in that place. Let's have a look at it. Um, who took it? It's a nectar branch wand of some kind. This armor is better than that armor. Um, oh, there it is. See, you can put it in his hand and it gives you energy plus five basically. It requires concentration of two, which he's got. He's got that, so he can use it. It gives you more energy, which is crucial for our man. Um, what else did we get in there? couple of odds and sods. Very nice too. Um, and now we've got the iron key to use. So that's what we're going to do. Where do we go to use the iron key? Now the thing is about the iron key is to remember that it does two different things. Sure, it opens the gate right in front of you, but it also opens a secret door over this away. So right over there, it opens this door here. The iron key opens this portcullis underneath here, but it also opens the secret room further back. So remember, it does two different things. In fact, what is the score with this? We've got a full bag of food there, which is great. We don't need to cart it around with us. Where's that box? We can put our treasured icons into the box. Um, hmm. Right. So let's go and use the iron key. Um, ah, I'll tell you what, before we do that, just take the bombs, put the iron key in, and we are down. Um, the main thing to remember is that it's opened up that secret room really, that's the, that's the most important bit to remember. Not this bit particularly. Although this is quite a lovely little uh, easy puzzle to do. So there's six uh, tables and you just need to place six items on there and you can get out of this little puzzle area. Right, so basically uses scrolls really. Wait a minute, what does that one say? So that's how you do this spell. I think we keep that one actually, that's a good one. So we know how to do that. one light tell you we know how to do that um, fireball yeah we know how to do that all right each time you place one of the items there's a danger you can get hit by defenses that one didn't do anything. So you could get hit. What's this one? Fireball. Again. Bloody hell. That was close. How many have we got to go? There's only one more to go. Oh no. Right, we're out. Are out. Hey, we've got this sword from that last adventure. That was a good one. So here we are. There's the wreck of the ship we came in on. I 
quite a good view of it there. John Carter, why are you up there? I don't think there's anything to be found on the sandbar. Um, we didn't find that... Um, we didn't actually find the uh, other place where the boat was, did we? Which is a shame. Go and find that now, I think. There's actually another room somewhere in here. We didn't didn't go and find it. Um, I wonder where it is. wall it gives it away. Here's the other bow look. There's the other bow. So we've got two bows which I particularly like that. Um, I think it's great to have a spare bow but you could choose to have the flame sword instead. It is entirely your choice. You don't need to do the same thing. So how do you get out of this area? Uh, just came back to get that bow really so we've got two bows. God, we don't have to go back to that swamp, do we? Oh, no! That's a nightmare, that place is. Ah, oh, there you are. That's a bit better. Yes, I like it. Um, oh, no, we don't need to do this. That's of no help. Um, so what happens next? Let's have a little look got here. What is the next plan? Oh, I know. So this doesn't look like we're getting anywhere, but in fact, what's happened is, we've come in now, this door's opened, which wasn't open before. So this is the way to go, because this door's opened. So we've got a new line of progress. And 
this is new as well. So over in this corner we've got a down shaft. We're looking for a hub key. Uh, what keys have we got? We've got no keys. We've got keys of zero. Um, so we have got a mortar though. This mortar allows you to do all kinds of potions, but the best two you can do are the uh, red and blue. The blue lets your wizard get sudden energy. Um, so we're looking for a hub key and that is not far away. So, to try a few things out, for instance, there is the very hub key we're looking for on the ground. So, shall we try taking away that torch and see what happens? magic is he? He hasn't got air magic so we can't do fireballs. That was a mistake. Looking at the wrong one. Right, so all we've got to do is pick up this hub key, put it in the lock, find out where that leads us. Forest! Oh crikey, look at him. Look at him. So this is not the night forest, this is the day forest. Which is extremely pretty. This is great. So you start off there. Nothing there apart from this stuff. I don't know what we can do with that. Probably something sooner or later. This looks ever so nice. Look at it through there. A lizard on a stick. second level which is fine so he can go up to firearms too and looks like we can have a bit of a kit by the look of it
Oh. What goes on? I think we're running out of time on this recording, to be honest. So... I think we might use... Oh, we can use these things on them, can't we? Yeah, look. It actually works. God, it works ever so well on them, too. That really works well on them. Come on, matey. Blimey, those poison bombs are great. They're really good. Got them from both sides. Brilliant. Okay, what other bombs have we got? Oh, we haven't got them from both sides. I tell you what, I don't know if I make it easy to fight using the old. Start using fire bombs on them, God, they go out in seconds! That really is the answer to it. Um, if you get fed up with them, just use fire bombs. They go like mad. Oh, we've got something on the other side, of course. That was a terrible waste of fire bombs. That was really bad. But look at the flipping result. We have now got a sabre. Just around the corner. This is what it all comes to. This is what you get. You get a sabre. Is it a heavy? Yes, yeah, heavy weapons three, and Minotaur has got heavy weapons two. So back at the blue stones, we've actually got a scythe, which he can use. Um, so if we shoot down this way. See, there's a tomb key. The big thing about this place is there's actually a tomb key in here. And um, we're going the wrong way, I think. Yeah. This is the way out up here. One of these little corners, straight up there is the tomb key, but we're just going to head down to the exit now. This is the actual exit. So here's the exit, this is where you go back into the castle. We're back, oh, not only are we back into the flipping castle, but we are on the bluestone side. So we are actually on the bluestone side now. So here we are. We have found the bluestones. We are here. We can actually oh look, we he can get his scythe now. The minor tool's qualified on it, he can get his scythe. Where is it? It's just on the other side of here. There it is, look, he's qualified on it. So that is a huge up ramp. Look, it's 11 to 34. That is like, that is double. That is like double that flipping, that cudgel. Um, but it's a two handed weapon. But he's now, that is absolutely crucial, that thing. Um, he's got the sabre as well. Um, so he's, he's sport for choice, really. 
Um, up here. What is up here? Oh crikey, it's quite a mission up here. Um, if you look, at, if you look in the ocean, just there. If you look at that, that's actually a trapdoor down, which we will do on the next recording. But um, we're not going to do it this time. We haven't really got time on this recording. Uh, but we have got loads and loads of things to do. We are abs this is absolutely packed full this game. So we're going to do that on the next recording. Thanks for coming with me. Cheers. See you next time.